Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Saturday, February 25th. Tesla has applied for a patent on a new ultra-hard steel alloy that it plans to use with the Cybertruck. One of the electric truck's biggest differentiating features is the fact that Tesla plans to build it with a body and exoskeleton made of ultra-hard stainless steel, and sure enough, in the new patent application, it's called ultra-hard cold-worked steel alloy. Tesla noted that it could be used in a vehicle exoskeleton. The application also includes some useful notes for chemistry and metallurgy enthusiasts or experts, but for the proles like me, the automaker simplified their claims, saying that it would outperform other alloys. It's still not clear who is going to manufacture this alloy for Tesla, but there have been rumors that Steel Dynamics, which is operating a new giant plant in Texas not too far from the manufacturing site, could be a potential partner. A new prototype vehicle has been spotted over the last few days, and it very clearly has some Tesla-designed features. It could be a test mule for the upcoming new Tesla Model 2 $25,000 electric car, as it's been rumored to be called, or it could be nothing. Rumors have been upcoming about Tesla's vehicle, and they've been bouncing around quite a bit. And in the excitement, a few shots of this design camo-clad vehicle that kind of look like a Tesla have been making the rounds. The photos came from China, where Tesla said that they are taking submissions for a Chinese-designed compact car. In China, it is being reported as a new Tesla Model 2. However, there isn't any hard proof that it's from Tesla, let alone what the name of the vehicle would be. Now, if this were indeed from Tesla, it would be a departure from the usual prototype-making plan, which is to use a body from another automaker. But this is the first time that Tesla has had its start for a vehicle designed in China. If it's not a Tesla vehicle, then I'm not really sure what it is. It's a hard question to answer. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Speaking of a new vehicle spotting, a video surfaced this week on social media appearing to show the new Kia EV9 driving around undisguised on the street. What's quite striking is that this one looks identical to the concept car that was shown at the LA Auto Show. The only noticeable differences include swapping the slimmed down side mirrors for traditional ones and slightly changing the front and rear designs. Although it is possible that it could be a fake with such a low quality recording, Kia testing or possibly promoting the EV9 on public streets around this time would make sense with an upcoming launch. The 2024 Kia EV9 is launching later this year as a very highly anticipated electric vehicle to hit the market. This week's episode is sponsored by SAE International, hosts of the WCX World Congress Experience event. For 2023, WCX is set to return to Detroit from April 18th to 20th at Huntington Place. As the largest technical mobility event in North America, WCX brings together thousands of engineers, suppliers, and mobility professionals to exchange ideas, discuss today's challenges, and build powerful relationships to move your career and the industry forward. Join the global mobility community in the Motor City this April to stay up to date on the latest technological advances, participate in roundtable discussions, and network with the brightest minds in the industry. Gain a competitive advantage and meet the people shaping the future of mobility. Visit wcx.sae.org to register now. The European Union Intellectual Property Office shot down Audi's request to block a Chinese company called NIO from using the names ES8 and ES6 in Europe. Audi had initially sued NIO back in 2021 to protect the integrity of their S8 and S6 model names, and in Germany, they actually won a case that took 15 months to decide. But despite winning in the country of Germany, it seems that Audi is losing the overall war in Europe after the European Union Intellectual Property Office ruled this week to the contrary. The latest ruling means that NEO's ES8 and ES6 names will remain valid in Europe unless further proceedings overturn the ruling. During a recent interview with a German newspaper called Frankfurter Allgemein Sonntagszeitung, Audi CEO Marcus Duesmann said that the stricter terms in place under the new Inflation Reduction Act in the USA have made the prospect of implementing EV production very attractive here in the States. While the company's CTO originally said that Audi's executives were mulling a new EV facility in the States, Duesman relayed that it is merely one option being considered. 
Another option is to collaborate with the parent company, Volkswagen, which already has production footprint in the U.S. and is working to erect more. And speaking of that, Volkswagen is planning to build an entirely new plant for the recently acquired Scout brand, and they're going to be EVs. They are going to be making manufacturing much more plausible for multiple brands while they're at it. Audi recently teased its own off-road EV that doubles as a crossover and a pickup, but we're not really holding our breath for that one. <music> Nissan will now be delivering new electric vehicles in fully electric heavy-duty trucks, and this is part of a new trial with Nikola and Kenworth. The first deliveries will be to Downey Nissan in California, carrying the 2023 Aria electric crossover, and they will definitely be on the lookout for Nikola's Trey BEV Zero Emission Class 8 truck to deliver the goods. Following the initial run of the four battery electric trucks, Nissan plans to deploy additional trucks in the Los Angeles area. The electric trucks are expected to play a key role in Nissan's aim to be carbon neutral by 2050. In a little bit of a sad note, Sono Motors has officially retired the idea of the Sono Scion, their solar electric car. Instead, the company will be working on their solar operations exclusively. This means that their effort to hashtag save the Scion has hashtag not worked out. So we bid the Scion farewell. It was definitely fun to watch it while it lasted. This will mean that there is a little bit more juice behind the idea of the Aptera solar electric car and possibly the Lightyear 2 solar electric car. We'll definitely be watching and reporting on those with bated breath. In today's community comment found on YouTube, we have a correction. Lucid Motors has announced plans to reassemble vehicles in Saudi Arabia after they are pre-manufactured in Arizona, USA. On Thursday, I got that backwards. So thank you for the correction, Martin Woods. It's always great to have such a quality audience. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.